Hey guys, knife detector here. Pete over at uh, Jersey Knife Guy asked me to do a video on this knife as soon as I got it in. Uh, he just did a video on it today. And I thought to myself, you know what, self, let's go ahead and let's do a video on it right now. Now, I had been doing a series on uh, elephantal knives. I'm going to bump this one up. This was going to probably round off the little video mini-series I was doing on them. But I'm going to move this one up because, you know, Jersey got his in today and I figured, why not? You know, let's flood the YouTube with our two channels full of uh, Blue Mule Rough Rider work knives. And uh, check out this box. Put my orange over there. Blue Mule. You know, I think the reason they call it a mule is because uh, mules are used to work and they pull their weight. And I think that's what this knife is going to do. Just like other knives in the, that are the same pattern as elephant toe or sunfish knives. Some people call them elephant toe knives. Some people call them sunfish knives. This is a orange that is not quite ripe yet. As you saw from the four pictures, I have an orange tree in my backyard. Let's open this bad boy up, see what's in here comes in that rough rider paper now I did not buy this from Smoky Mountain Knife Works the first time I saw this was actually on eBay and I just snapped it up real quick I ended up paying actually two bucks more than I should have um, I saw it later on eBay for $18.95 free shipping I ended up buying this for $21 free shipping um, kicking myself a little bit about that because I know it would have been cheaper on uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works but I didn't know it was out at the time so let's open this up Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful G10 blue. You know, the nice thing about these knives, it is a little dirty, you know, just like Jersey says. Sometimes they come a little bit dirty. And this one does have some residue on it. But uh, that don't bother me too much. It's got a half stop. Strong snap open. RR2173 is what it is. By the way, guys, if you hear uh, noises in the background, those are cicada. Uh, might be my neighbor's music. Might be some hammering. Could be some talking. I'm in my backyard. But I wanted to make this. My wife's sleeping in the living room, so I couldn't make the video there. Look at that. Five pins. Gosh, you know, I wonder if these are stainless steel bolsters. These honestly don't look like nickel silver to me. They look like stainless steel brass liners, which would make sense because I think that this series work knives, Blue Mule work knives, they're meant to work to be in your pocket. And to me, that also means that perhaps they're uh, going to be rust resistant to last longer. Nice. It's got a decent edge on it, guys. Very decent strong half stop very strong snap closed Oof. half stop open close nice guys this is gonna be a real joy to carry in my pocket um, it's just a beauty of a knife you know what rough rider if you're paying attention if you made this in an orange I'd be all over it I think a lot of people would if you made it in an orange. If you made it in a yellow, oh my god. If you made it in a red, man alive, I would love to have it. I love these because these just slide right into your pocket. And when you need a big blade, you got a big blade. That can handle most any job. When you have a small job, you have the small blade. Take care of it for precise work. Maybe some whittling or carving, right? And... Uh, this style of knives has been in working man's pockets for like probably between 150, 100 years. And uh, probably I'm guessing because they're durable, they slide right in, uh, easy to carry, uh, versatile because you have the big blade and the small blade. And uh, just an all around really good work knife. And sometimes people don't understand exactly, you know, what kind of work you can do with this knife, you know. But uh, these had been 
carried in their pockets by farmers and people who worked in the seafaring industry uh, about a hundred years, you know. And uh, pretty much they're up to many different tasks that people give it. And the fact that you can just slide this puppy right in your pocket just makes it so versatile and so portable. Hey Jersey, I hope you're having a great evening, my friend. Uh, I really like the video you did in this knife or videos. You did two of them. I'm going to try and upload this right quick. Uh, you guys have a blessed day. God bless. You know what this means? That means I'm going to have to bump up my other videos because I moved this one from the back all the way to the front. So front of the line for this guy. This is going to round off my little series, but I wanted to show you guys this one too. And let's flood the YouTube uh, channels. Mine in jerseys anyway, <laughs> with this knife. Y'all take care. God bless. Keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper.